hope it's... I didn't screw it up. Silence. Anyway, hello. Hi. It is December 26th, so that means yesterday was Christmas. Hello. Long time no see. Um, I have always wanted to do a Christmas haul video. I've, like, had it in my head to do it the last couple years, but it's exhausting. And, um, but I would like to, I'm, I'm putting the effort forth this year because it's been a long time since I made a video and I'm still emotionally processing a lot of the items that I have just because when I get new stuff it takes me forever to like integrate it into my life. So like it's all in a box and they're all just scattered at various points of my room because they're like not put away yet. So hello, here's this. Um, it is already after five o'clock so it will probably get dark in this video and I think I got the lighting to work. So I will start with the first family gathering I went to this holiday because I had a little, we have a little Christmas party. They will have my grandma and my cousin and her husband and then like me and my mom, my sister and my dad, you know, the four of us. And my cousin and me and my cousin and my sister and I were really close and we always, we always are like really extra for each other. Um, so I got some cool stuff for my cousin. I wanted to show you guys. So that's the first category I will be covering because I had to organize this by categories or else I was going to get overwhelmed. Um, also I am very casual today because Christmas has been exhausting. It was great, but it was exhausting. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys, um, my cousin got me this Squishmallow that I've been kind of wanting. I don't know how to pronounce its name. Um, I'll put it right here. Listen. I will learn eventually. Um, but yeah, I, I love this one. He's so cute. And I don't have a lot of bigger Squishmallows, mostly because I have a little room, but it is nice to have another one because now I have this one. I have, like a, I think it's like a 16 inch Danny the Dino. It was my first Squishmallow. And then I have the like 12 inch Dante the, the Demon. So like I have another one to go with my bigger Squishmallows. And he's really cute. And I love the little, it's a Dumbo octopus, by the way. This is a Dumbo octopus Squishmallow. And he has these cute like ears with a like, gold in them. And they, I love the little fins. Like this is my favorite part is these little fins. And I'm just really excited. I'm just, yeah, not good with words. Yay, I got a Squishmallow. Um, yeah, so that's one of the first things I got. Um, next thing I got is this, I keep calling this a rainbow high doll. It's from the same, like, people. It's a spin-off line. So it's the shadow high, but I keep calling it a rainbow high doll. So if I call it that, I am so sorry. But, um, shadow high, rainbow vision, neon shadow. So it's, like, one of the musician ones. So it's, like, these three are in a band, I think. Or they're just all performing at this show. I'm not fully sure. I haven't gotten fully into the rainbow high, shadow high lore. I just see other people talk about it. Um, but I'm kind of starting to get into them because of quality. Like, they have so much detail in these and, like, they're made so nice. This one. And it spoke to me. Um, we were doing some last minute, like, running errands the night before our My Chemical Romance concert. It was me, my sister, and my cousin. And we were looking at the toys because, obviously, you gotta look at the toys. And, um, we were looking at the room behind the Shadow High dolls. And this one spoke to me because, one, black and pink. I love it. One of my main personality traits. Also... It's, this one feels very punk rock themed. Like she has like the, you know, the drums. She has like the plaid vest with the patches. She has a denim vest with the patches. You know, she has like the studs and she has like this where it's an old cartoon, but also it has like, you know, they made it edgy and they put like piercings and stuff on it. It just, it's all very punk rock to me. And that's a very important hob like hobby interest of mine is like punk culture. You, I talked about it in some videos and stuff. Here, here's one of them. Um, also, I want to play the drums so bad. One day I'm going to learn how to play the drums when I don't live with three other people. And I hopefully have room one day. I would love to learn how to play the drums. So, it's like I'm living vicariously through this doll. So, like, all of this is just, all of this, I'm the target market. So, like, I'm excited. I haven't opened her yet. I want to wait till, like, I have room or something. Or I, just, I don't open her yet. She looks really nice in the box. And I love how all these little, like, accessories are displayed. So she just sits on top of my desk. Because, you know, it's nice. I like it. Um, next thing I got was this. It's a makeup brush set. I don't store this in the stand because it's really wobbly. But I thought I would show that it did come with a stand. It's, like, bright yellow. It's really cute. Um, and, yeah, I'm just, like... It comes with two little eyeshadow brushes and this thing to help with like your eyebrows and like separate your eyelashes, you know, like a comb and then a brush and then just some facial brushes, you know, it's nice to have more, especially eyeshadow brushes because I do eyeshadow more than anything and I'm always needing like to clean my brushes, like, you know what I mean, I always am in need of an extra brush. So this is really cute, I'm excited. Um, and the topic of makeup, I also got, oh my gosh, I got this Kylie Jenner Nightmare on Elm Street palette. And I'm really excited about this because I'm not really like into the Kardashians. Um, I have a lot of thoughts about them. 
and they're not really my vibe. But also, when this collection was announced, I was very intrigued by this, and I was really excited because it's just cool. I love horror movies, I love Nightmare on Elm Street, and it was really cool, um, and stuff like that. So uh, my cousin ended up getting, she really likes like a lot of her makeup and stuff. Um, but she got this for me and I'm really excited because also it just looks cool like I love how there's like the blood splatters and then like the inside of the box actually looks like you probably can't even see that looks like his Freddy Krueger scars and then um but yeah it's really cool and it has a lot of colors I wear a lot just like a lot of reds and like neutrals because that's what I like to do is like red eye shadow you know revenge at Ridge or way just that kind of vibe so yeah I'm excited for this because my favorite eyeshadow palette um is like three years old it's my color pop um proceed with caution palette and i use that for everything and it's starting to show its age where it doesn't work as well and it's sad because i use it for everything so now i have this to kind of you know have a new palette to use so that's cool i got two sims expansion packs which is really exciting because i don't really have any i have some of the little stuff packs like the holiday pack you know like the free ones like the holiday pack that little like desert one that was recently released and then i think that's it um but I still have fun playing it without expansion packs, but it's so nice to have new content because I haven't had new content in a while except for the stuff in the free updates. So it's just, it's, I'm so excited. I've already put both of these on there. I've played around with the apartment stuff and I've mostly just been doing a lot of build mode with all the new build mode content. So that's really exciting. Um, this one has clubs and stuff. I haven't done much with those yet, but I have done like the festivals and stuff. And this one, the festivals are really fun. So this is fun. I like these. I'm very grateful for these. Um, another thing, oh, she got me Spider-Man socks. He's, Spider-Man's my favorite superhero, so, um, I've been getting a lot of Spider-Man stuff recently because I'm starting actually, like, indulging in that part of, like, my interests and stuff, so, like, yay, Spider-Man socks. I'm excited to, like, I got, um, I also got a Spider-Man DVD for Christmas that'll come later in the video, but I'm like, ooh, I should sit down, wear my Spider-Man socks, watch my Spider-Man DVD, you know, have some snacks, it'll be nice, so I'm excited. I haven't used them yet, though, but, yeah, they're so cute, they just have little... Please focus, oh my gosh. Little little Spider-Man faces on them. They're so cute. And then I got this American Girl sticker book. Um, I'm excited. It has like scenes. What? Why is there blank pages in here? Is that so I can put stickers on them or is it just where two sticker pages meet? I don't know. So like there's like these blank ones. So then you go find the stickers that go here. So it's kind of like a, you know, like a fill in the blanks thing. But they also have just like a ton of like stickers I can use for myself I think like where is it yeah like there's all these down here these cute ones like and this is and it shows you what the little play sets are called that are in it so it's kind of like a catalog but also like a sticker book and I love it because you know me I love American Girl dolls that's like half my channel um and it was just really nice and cute and I love it I'm excited but yeah it's cool it's like a little activity book because you like put this it's almost like paint by number but with stickers oh my god and then the last thing from the stuff my cousin got me, or the last thing I'm putting in the video anyway, I got um, this. It's one of those sh scalp scrub brushes because I've always wanted one. They, some people say they like, help with circulation and hair growth, and that would be great. But also this just will probably help me, you know, you know, exfoliate my scalp a little bit more because I really need that sometimes. So I've just always wanted to try one. And um, But yeah, I'm still getting the hang of how to use this but and, you know, how to not tangle my hair with it. But it's really cool. really excited because I want one of these forever and I keep forgetting to, like, get one. So it's nice. So then another thing I got that day, it's actually from my grandmother, and she she made these for everybody. It's like, it's in a bag right now because I still need to like put it, hang it up somewhere. But it's like a little wooden like circle, and then she just um, put some ribbon on it. But what she did was she wrote down recipes for like foods that we like, and she got a di different recipe for everyone. Like she wrote one, oops, wrote a different recipe for everyone, and she, um... So like I really like, really like chicken tacos, so she wrote me her chicken wraps recipe. So she wrote down and like mod podged it down and put like little like stickers on it. So it's like her handwriting and it's a recipe. So we have like a recipe to like hold on to. So it's really cute. It's really sweet. It's so cool. I love that. And I love that it's her handwriting. Like it's just so cute. Chicken wraps recipe. It was really nice. And it has a hook so we can hang them up in our kitchens when like I don't I don't have my own place. So it's like I don't have a kitchen to hang this up in, but it's good it'll be good for when I have a kitchen one day so but it's really cute I love it because like really like um you know thoughtful and like cute I love like handmade stuff like this yeah it's so cute I love it okay so next category we're getting into Christmas um we actually did our stockings pretty much last yeah we did our stockings last this year but I'm gonna start with those because it's like you know it's just smaller things 
So it's like less overwhelming. But um, so I got chocolate. I, I love getting chocolate in my stocking. But I got a bag of Ghirardelli, one of my favorites. Um, well, a lot of these are my favorites. But yeah, I'm excited about this. I love it. Mwah. Delicious. Um, I got a bag of the Carmelo like singles, like the minis. I love these. Um, these are yeah, actually Carmelos are like my favorite chocolate right now. <sighs> They're so good. I already had a few. Like I wanted to wait until after this video to have some of my chocolate, but I could not wait. I had a couple of these already today. And then I got two of the like the candy canes. I got Rolos. Um, these are good. I like these. I don't eat them super often, but sometimes I just get really in the mood for them. So I'll probably wait a little bit to eat these, but they are really good. I like them and I love like these. You know, these are kind of classic, you know, just a nice little candy cane. Full candy. Adorable. I like that one. Right there. Um, so then I got like some makeup y stuff. I got this Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer. I used this my junior year of high school. I got my first tube of this as a gift from one of my friends, and then I bought another one eventually. And then I used the same tube because I just forget that makeup expires. I used the same tube for like multiple years. Probably like three or four years. I don't even know. Three years. And then um, suddenly I was like realizing, oh, I'm running out. And I was like, oh, wait, this is expired. That's why my eyes are burning. <laughs> it's, I'm st I was still learning, like, you know, makeup and stuff. Well, and, um, but they, I had been so long since I bought said eyeshadow primer that they don't sell this in the stores anymore. I thought they didn't make it anymore, but recently I discovered that they do. You just have to get it on Wet n Wild's website. But, so, I was like, guys, somebody get me this for Christmas. It's my favorite. And I've tried a couple of primers since then. I've tried the Morphe one. i tried the Urban Decay one. I like the Urban Decay one pretty well, but it's, like, expensive. So, it's like, plus this I like a lot better, and it's not as expensive. It's, like, five bucks. So... I finally have another tube of this. I hope it's as good as I remember. But either way, my primer is ex my Urban Decay I bought like probably last year for back to school when I was still in college. It's it's not good anymore. So this one, I'm excited. Um, and then I got this little fragrance mist from Bath Body Works Champagne Apple Honey. I haven't used this scent before, but my sister has had it several times and it's really good, so. Mm, it's so good. I'm so excited. Yeah, I just got the cute little mini ones. This would be cute to keep in my bag, to be honest, because it's so small. Why are you so small? Why are you so tiny? But yeah, it's yeah, it's just cute, and I love the art on it, because it's just like honeycombs and flowers. It's cute. So then I got, this is a tire gauge. I have a car now. Don't know how to drive yet. But I have a car now, so it's like, I love, we use, me and my sister always get, my parents always get us some kind of tools or something every year, so like, we've been slowly building like toolkits, but I got a tire gauge for my car. I love it, because it's practical, and it's like, ooh, I got a car. I get car stuff now. So yeah, I'm excited about this. And also, it's like cute, you know, it's small, you keep it in your bag, keep it in your car, like the glove box, I don't know. Anyway, yes, this exciting adulthood. I love that. So then I got a few things for my sister. Um, so I got, she got me some bookmarks. I don't know if we'll start the bookmarks. The bookmarks is what I saw first. So she got me a few things off of Etsy. The first one I noticed, this is a little, this is a bookmark actually. It's um a picture of David Boreanaz from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He plays Angel. And it's, I thought it was a mini standy like for my desk, but it's a bookmark so it's like a laminated picture of him. And it's so cool and it's funny. He's like an inside joke with us because I haven't watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer other than like my sister, like second hand watching it for my sister. But one of our favorite shows was Bones. And so once she started watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and he's in that, and it's just funny seeing him play this, like, brooding vampire after seeing him play Agent Booth in Bones. So, like, I, I that's why I can't watch Buffy, because it's just so funny. Like, I, I can't handle it. So, like, I always just joke around about, oh, it's David Boyanis. So she got me this bookmark of Angel, and I love it, and I can't wait to use it, and it's hilarious. Um, it also came with this other sticker. I just, you probably can see it, but it came with this other sticker, probably, like, as a freebie, and I don't know what it's who it's of, but it's some kind of vampire, I think. But it's really cute. I... It's really cute, so that's really cute. And then she got this other bookmark. It's like a metal... I haven't even opened it yet. Let me open it. It's a metal bookmark, and it has, like, a collage of, like, Katniss and Peter from The Hunger Games, because I love Katniss and Peter. I love The Hunger Games. Ooh, I can use this when I reread The Hunger Games, because I reread it, like, kind of a lot. Like, it's a thing. Um, but yeah, it's just, like, a little like collage of Katniss and Peeta and just Hunger Games aesthetic things and it's just really nice and I'm really excited because it's like my favorite book series and I love them like I love them I ship it um so yeah that was really thoughtful and stuff and it's just mm, I'm excited I'm so excited to use these bookmarks it's so sweet of her um but yeah I'm, I'm so excited 
put back in the bag. Um, and the last thing from the Etsy stuff she got me, I wasn't sure what this was because it was just rolled up in a little thing of bubble wrap. And then, it, like, I could see it was candy beads, right? It's, like, Dracula themed. Has little bats on it. And at first I thought it was going to be something about David Boreanaz to go with, like, the bookmark or, like, about Angel or Booth. But it says she got me a bracelet that says Bill Hader because he's my favorite actor and, like, you know, celebrity crush and stuff. Um, and I appreciate that. This, I was, I was dying because this is great, but also hilarious, but also I love it. And also it's so thoughtful. <laughs> it was cute because I guess she saw, um, um, like a seller was making bracelets with this color scheme with the, with the little bats or like little glittery bats. And, um, she was like, hey, do you do custom? So she got this made for, I'm just really excited to have it because it's like, it's cute, you know, like, it's, I just love it. It's so cute. Um. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite things just because it's so, like, funny, but also very me, but also it just feels very personalized. <laughs> it's just so funny. I'm just, I love it so much. But yeah, so that's probably one of the greatest things I got, and I'm very excited about it. And I'll probably wear it the rest of the video. Yay. I can fidget with it. But yeah, so that was my stocking stuff. There's one thing I didn't mention that's because it goes with something else later in the video, and it's like, I don't want to ruin it, but it's really cool. But yeah, cool. Segue into the next section. Okay, so I had to make the light brighter because it's getting dark and I think it was, I think, I think it looks okay. I tested it and I think it looks okay. So this is like beauty related stuff, I guess, some makeup related, like, you know, skincare and stuff. Um, I thought I'd put it all together. So the first thing, actually it's the first thing I opened, um, but it's this Urban Decay On The Run palette from like the Shortcut palettes, the little mini ones. And I wanted this because there's this Tumblr post that has like shaped me as a person. <laughs> But it's, I'll put it here, I keep having giving myself more work to do, I'll put it here. But it's basically about how, from when Gerard Roy's doing like Vangera and he's doing his eyeshadow and his stage makeup and you know everyone, the red eyeshadow, the reddish colored eyeshadows, we love it. It's either this is a dupe from one of the colors he used or it's like a re, like a reissue of one of the colors he used. Anyway, it's the shade, it's this red shade called Gash and I um, figured out it was in this palette and... I was like, I need to get this palette. And I kept like kind of looking for it, but just like, I don't buy makeup that much anymore. So it's kind of like, I'm out of the habit of like prioritizing it money-wise. Anyway, I decided to put it on my Christmas list because, um, you know, as I was getting closer to Christmas and stuff, it's like, is there anything else you might want? Like any ideas you can give me? And I'm like, I need to get this palette. And I keep forgetting to like, I keep not thinking about it and forgetting it exists and I want it. And even aside from this shade, um, it also has just a lot, again, like reds and neutrals, burgundies, I like that kind of stuff. So, it's really cute. It's so small. It's like nice and small. And it's, it's just really cute. I'm excited to finally have this. Um, and yeah, I don't know, like I kind of swatched it and stuff. But, um, I haven't really gotten a good look at it to see how it works and everything. But, like, either way, if it's not, like, as close as I thought it was to, like, what I'm going for, it's still, like, this is a nice color scheme and then that and have the, the new Kylie palette I got. It's, like, I'm doing good. So, since my favorite eyeshadow palette is now, like, just not working, I have some new ones. So, this is good. I'm excited. So, I got that. Um, I've been wanting to try this. Oh, like, oh, okay. I got, um, it's the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. You know, the dupe for that Hydro Grip stuff from Milk, I think. And I wanted to try it, so I got it. And I haven't worn face makeup in a while, but I want to kind of, like, get back into it. So now that I have, like, a nice primer, I can try it. So this is really nice. I'm excited. It's just, like, this little tube. It's, like, bluish. It's supposed to be help stuff really stick to your skin. So I'm excited. I already used e.l.f. concealer for my foundation, so hopefully they'll work nice together. So this palette was from my sister, and then the rest of the stuff was from my mom and my dad. So the next thing I got was this... I've been wanting to try this for a while, but again, it's like I just never take the time to invest in this stuff. Um, but it's this Hydro Boost City Shield. It's like water, it's like gel sunscreen moisturizer from Neutrogena. And I've been wanting to try this for so long. And is it even a moisturizer or is it a hydrating thing? I don't know. Either way, fancy sunscreen. I'm excited. And then I got this Neutrogena face facial bar. I have one of these I've been using for a while, like on and off, because I'm not great at keeping up with the skincare routine. Executive dysfunction is great, but I do really like this and how it smells, and it's like, I like how, like, it cleans my face. So I wanted another one of these since mine's kind of starting to, like, wear down, almost gone. So this is nice. I'm excited. And then, this. <laughs> that was dramatic. But, um, I've been wanting some kind of, like, scrub exfoliating thing like body scrub and this is one of the Dove 
exfoliating body polishes. I keep seeing ads for these and it looks so nice. It looks really good and it looks really nice and like, you know, creamy but also exfoliating. So I'm really excited for this because it helps with like razor bumps and stuff to exfoliate. So it says it's gentle, like a gentle exfoliant. That, that's nice. So I'm excited for that. And the last thing in this category is this little choker set. Oops. Choker set my mom got me because um, I like chokers. Most of the time I've seen wearing a choker, it's the same tattoo choker I've worn since 2016 when I bought it for my birthday. But um, we were sh last night Christmas shopping at Walmart the other day. I almost bought this one necklace for myself that had a snake on it because I'm hopefully seeing Tyler Swift next year. And I wanted to wear it because, you know, Reputation Era and it's like cute. And it's like, yeah, gotta buy but I was like, you're not going to like the summer and you don't really have the extra money right now. Do not buy it. So I didn't buy it. And now she got me this. This is different than what I was looking at, but it's like more in my style to be honest. And it comes with a tattoo choker in case mine breaks and then just a few cute ones. Like here's this just gold one with little like spheres and here's like this one with little gems and here's this like leather one. And then there's the snake one. And I'm so excited. That was really like, that was really thoughtful. I'm so excited for this. Um, but yeah, so there's that stuff. It's really, it's really um, so this is like, I don't know, just like clothing related stuff, I guess. I got, oh my gosh, I forgot something. Let me go get it. My cousin, back at the, you know, the Christmas party I talked about earlier, she got me this t-shirt like months ago, and she was supposed to give it to me in like the summer, but it, it like, you know, got like back order, like took forever to come in, and then, and then she lost, she like forgot about it, it went missing in her house, but she got me this t-shirt. Um, so over the summer of this year, NASCAR released a Pride collection and it was so funny because the, the merch was really funny. Like, it was like, okay, yeah, I, I see you're trying. It's, it's really, like, it was just really funny. There were puns involved and it was just like, I love it. And she bought me one of the shirts and like, I knew about it, but I forgot about it. So when she, I unwrapped it, I was like so surprised because I, I forgot about it, um, that she had one coming in for me. So now I have one, um, finally, but yeah, I'll show you the one I got, but I'm just, I'm really excited. But, um, yeah, it's, it, it says, it just says Yas Car, Yas Car Racing, and there's a rainbow on it. And the NASCAR logo already is kind of a rainbow, so, you know, it's really funny. And I'm so excited to wear this, and, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. Um, yeah, I haven't worn it yet. I don't know what I'm going to wear it, because it just feels awkward that way I'm around my parents, but I'm very grateful that I have this shirt now, because it's been a long time in the works to have this thing. So, yes, it's beautiful. I love it. And it's hilarious. But yeah, I'm just, I can't believe I forgot about this because it's just so funny. So yeah, there's that. But other than that, so after this um, little like tangent, because it was supposed to go with another category, I also have a couple other shirts for Christmas. One of them is, oh, I got this, I f like they're just all thrown together here, so I forget which one was which. But I got a new MCR shirt. Um, from Hot Topic. It has like this knife design and I think the font reminds me a lot of Danger Days but it just says My Chemical Romance and there's just knives on it. I saw this on Pinterest and it was like a recent shirt and I like put it on my board just kind of as a random you know extra idea in case my mom needed more ideas and then um, I was like you know I really would like to have that because I have like I'd been I got a bunch of MCR shirts in um, high school and like sec like hand-me-downs from one of my friends and then um, I just wore them to death over the course of the years and I slowly like I need to replace start replacing them so yeah you have this one so cute like look at that it's so cute and then the next shirt my sister got me this um, I actually forgot about this too so there's a brand like a t-shirt company we both like studio house a studio house designs they do a lot of like horror movie shirts and some other pop culture stuff and um, she has a lot of their shirts and they released this collection for Buffy the Vampire Slayer and they had different ones, they had ones with her and Spike, they had ones with her and Angel, just ones with the different characters and you know I was like joking around about the, you know, again, like I said earlier, a little like inside joke about David Boreanaz so um, she got me, <laughs> she got me the Buffy and Angel shirt and I'm so excited about this, it's so funny because now I have him on a shirt, I'm gonna wear him on a shirt Studio House Designs, I'll link their Instagram in the description because they're very cool um, but yeah, so I'm excited for this, and it fits really oversized, it's a medium, but it's like really like oversized, and I'm so excited, because it'll be so comfortable, and like it feels really nice, like, this is so sweet, so I have this, and I have the bookmark, and it's like, I love that, um, but yeah, I'm just excited about that, and then this thing, I'm so excited for this thing, so my grandmother, who lives states away, um, she said, hey, she never really knows what to do for Christmas, because she lives so far away and stuff, so she's like, hey, how about you just, you know, pick a few things on Amazon, 
within this budget and then like you know send me the list the list because you can make wish lists and then I'll give you some stuff for Christmas that way so it's kind of like I already knew about it but it was nice because that way we could you know it was a good way to do that because then she could just order it to our house the way and like how they do with Amazon wish lists so only one thing got here on time two things won't be here till January one I don't even know if they it's even gonna get here at all which is fine because like you know it's not her fault um but the one that come in is this it's one of those Ida bags I think that's how you pronounce it um, and it just, it's a backpack, and then it has a window, and then it has this little, like, sheet of fabric, like this little thing, I don't know what to call it, but it's just like a little thing, so you can display, like, pins and stuff, or you can put stuff in it, I've seen people put their squishmallows in it, but, um, I'm excited to put pins in it, because I've lost pins before, I think I lost one pin to my high school hallway, and then I almost lost one at Goodwill, but luckily we had a friend that worked there, and she could save it for me, but yeah, like, it has this thing, and you put your pins on it and you slide it in here so this window keeps them from getting lost and I'm so excited because I found out about these in like high school one of my long distance internet friends was like hey it a bags you can put your pins in them and I'm like wow that is genius and adorable and then I saw them on Hot Topic but you know I was broken in high school and then I just never again never got around to buying one and then um, I don't buy a lot of stuff on Amazon so I really would even though like the Amazon wishlist idea is really good this year for this year I still had no idea what to get and then I was looking around my Pinterest for like those things I'm like ooh I'd like to get that one day but like when will I treat myself and get this and I was like ooh look for one of these so I have it and I'm so excited about it and I got the pink one even though we had a lot of black because like it'll contrast with my outfits it's like juxtaposition or whatever it is like it's kind of like I don't know I just really like the pastel pink one it's really classic and stuff so I had to get that one it was speaking to me so this is made really nice I think the brand is called steamed bun or something like that something like cutesy like that but it has like I still haven't even like taken the straps out of like wrappers or anything but it's made really nice it has a lot of room in it I don't know if you can see that but like this this has a decent amount of room in it and it's really tall and it has like a pocket on the inside and it's just it's made really well and I'm so excited to use it because again I can display my pins or I can put little knickknacks in there and like it's just it's so cute and I'm so excited my sister got me some things for my dog and it's like really cute and it's like mm, I just wanted to make a little section for that so the first thing she got she got these for all of our pets she got a set it's so it's the paw the paw stamp pad like the mess free one and then the nose version and then she got one of each of these for her dog so for her dog for my dog and then we have two smaller dogs in the house and then we have a beagle so she got this like you know these two for each dog and then she got our cousin she has a cat she got a kitten this year and also for him so like we're all going to be able to make paw prints of like all the animals in our family so um i'm really excited to use these because i have very like you know close attachment to my dog and i it's just nice because that way we can do these and then if we want to use them for tattoos or like frame them or like both we could do that because like you know but yeah it's just mm, i'm really excited because some of our dogs um are getting older and it's like we need to do these while we still can so you know we have something so so I'm just showing like the one set here, but we have like several um, sets of these, so that's nice. Um, and then she got this throw blanket. Can you see? It has dinosaurs on it. I love dinosaurs, but she got it. It's like kind of for my dog Bristol, but also like for me. But yeah, like it's just, you know, I can throw it on my bed and Bristol can use it when I need to cover her up or something when it's cold. But yeah, it's just, it's just so cute. It has dinosaurs on it. I love dinosaurs. I'm so thoughtful. And then she got her this little toy. It is like this Disney collab with Chewy but it's like a little cupcake that looks like goofy and then it crinkles and also has a squeaker but yeah it's really cute and I love it so much she got her dog the like there's one that looks like a Minnie Mouse made of donuts it's really cute she got this and then she got her it's kind of like quiet ears but this one's called a rough muff but it's like one of those things you put over your dog's ears to kind of like muffle sounds and also calm them with like the pressure so we're still we still gotta like figure out how to use this and like get her used to it but this is really good because my dog is reactive and she has a very bad anxiety she does not like loud noises and just all of that stuff and like we have other things to help her but i know this will also really help her so i'm really excited this is so thoughtful like i'm just mm, this is so sweet because we really need something like this for her so right here so i'll start with this stuff and then i'll get to this stuff because then this can segue into the stuff behind me so i got this cd danger days MCR. It's like, I think it's my favorite album of theirs, not gonna lie. I just keep drifting towards that one. It just, like, they're all great. All of them are great, but mm, Danger Days. I love it. 
So I finally have it on CD because I have the vinyl. I found the vinyl at Walmart this year. Impulse buying so many MCR vinyls. I have like three now. But um, yeah, so I need to do a vinyl collection video, honestly, because I haven't made a vinyl video since when I got my first one like three years ago. So remind me. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it. Um, but yeah, so I have this Danger Days album and I listened to it today and I'm really excited to finally have it as a CD. Also, because once I start driving and hopefully can drive listening to music, I can listen to this in my car with all my other CDs. But yeah, I'm just really excited because I finally have this on a CD. It's empty because it's in my CD player. But yes, Danger Days, MCR. Amazing album. It's up. And then I got two DVDs in general. So um, I got this Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm so excited um, to rewatch it, even though it's really emotional. And then my sister really wants to watch all the other ones before she watches it. And I'm just like, please do that. I need someone to talk about this with. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to have this now. Um, so that's, I'm just excited. Um, and the next one was the thing I wanted the most. Um, but I, so my favorite movie is The Skeleton Twins, and it's like, not like that obscure, but also no one knows what I'm talking about when I talk about it, and like, you can't just get the DVD in the stores. I'm sure there's a lot of other movies you can't just get in the store, but like, I look at like, FIE has a ton of DVDs. I tried to buy online ones, but they, they ran out of copy, like the, where I was gonna buy it ran out of them. And I just, also again, I, some stuff I never get around to buying. So this was the number one thing on my wish list, and I have it now. I, I'm not, like, I want to be able to cry when I open gifts, but I just can't, like, I just, but I almost cried. Um, so I have this now, so now I can watch it as many times as I want, and I don't have to worry about it being taken off a streaming service. Shit, when I first got into it and I was, like, hyper fixating, I watched it, like, over and over again. I watched it multiple times a day. That part's kind of died down, but it's a very important movie to me. And now I have it, and it's mine. Physical copy. So excited. And, yeah, this is... This was my Red Rider BB gun, and I got it, so it's good. It's good. So I just wanted to show you guys this, because I'm just like, yes. I'm so excited. I'm just, I don't know what else to say. This is just, it's great. I recommend it um, a lot. So there's that. So I got some DVDs. I'm so excited. Um, so the next two things are really cool. So, um, so I got this book, and I got this Funko Pop. So my sister, what happened was she was, I wanted this book. This was also one of the like top things on my wish list this year is this book. It's called Keeping the Moon by Sarah Dessen. And I read this in middle school and I loved it. And then like, you know, I, it's one of my favorite books and I would, I would like my own copy so I can reread it for nostalgia. That, Cause that's kind of what I do with books. I just get stuff I've used, I've read before and really liked and I just reread it when I'm bored. Um, so that's how I do books. And I wanted the copy. I wanted the specific cover with the jeans and the sunglasses because that's the one I read in middle school and like obviously the cover doesn't affect anything it's just like you know that's the one I want because it's gonna be on a shelf I'm gonna look at it I like this cover because there's like a character in the book that's really important and it gives and then he gives the main character a pair of sunglasses so it's like I need like you know I want that so she got it for me and I guess what happened was she didn't plan on getting me this Pete Wentz Funko because this is the last one I need and I'll have all three Fall Out Boy ones, but I wasn't super like pressed or stressed about getting it because I at least have one of each. Like I have the Patrick one and I have the Hot Topic Pete one with like the old the Saturday outfit. So like at least I have one of each of them, but she noticed the seller was also selling this. She's like, oh, I can't not get it. So she got them in a bundle. So that happened. But yeah, it was just cool because she just said, ooh, might as well get them since they're from the same seller you can make a bundle so yay i have all the follow-up boy funkos now until they release other ones wish they'd release andy and joe but like okay but yeah pete one's funk yes so yeah those are those things do you stand so next thing i got some vinyls for christmas they're a lot different than all my other vinyls though because they are movie soundtracks so this one isn't the first one i opened but the other one is a good way to transition into like the next chunk of stuff so i'll start with this one this is a two record set it's the child's play soundtrack like you know the first one in the 1988 and i saw this at fye and i wanted it so bad but i always forgot about it because i when i go to the mall i always go to fye last so by the time i get there i have no money and i'll see all these records i want but it's a um, it's like colored vinyl so it's like, it's like a blue vinyl, I think, and a yellow one, and it has like spots, like the spot of vinyl, but it looks like blood, you know, because horror movies. But it's like the soundtrack, so it's like the score from the first Chucky movie, and I love it so much. And it has this cool, like, you know, art on the cover, and then it also has this cool art from when he got all burnt up at the end, you know? And it's just like, it has all the little, like, 
song names for the different sections of the score and I'm so excited to listen to this because I haven't actually listened to the score on its own now but like this is such a good like it's kind of becoming my favorite franchise ironically because it was the one I was terrified of the most but here we are so my mom got this for me because she was needing ideas and my sister was like she wants that vinyl so I have it now and I'm so excited so excited but yeah, I'm just, and it's also a nice collecting thing because I have a section on my horror shelf behind me that's pretty much just for my Chucky stuff, and I don't know if this will fit. I might just have to put it with my vinyls, but it's still. I'm making the weirdest faces. I'm just really, I'm a little hyperactive now because I've been talking for so long. And I'm like, hmm. Next vinyl I got is the Little Shop of Horrors soundtrack on vinyl. Um, this was like one of my first like favorite movies that I remember being like, wow, this is my favorite movie. And I was clearly hyperfixating and did not know it because it was like senior year of high school. One of my friends took me to see the play at our school because our drama class was putting it on and I loved it. And then I found it on like Roku channel when I got home and I just watched it for days. And then I like I have two different DVDs of it and I have like one of the Funkos and now I have this. And like it's cool to collect for collectible reasons and just also it's so cool. I'm so excited. And it's new in the shrink wrap. But yeah, so there's that. And this segues into my next thing, which is like toy related stuff, I guess, or just like kind of like the finale. I don't know. So, um, I think so. She wrapped this with something else. Oh, I hope I don't. Okay. So she got me the Venus flytrap squishable. And I'm so excited about it because look, it's so cute. And obviously, it's not specifically made to be like Little Shop of Horrors, but it's basically like an Audrey 2 squishable. Like, it has, it's just so cute. But it's so cute. So it has a magnet, right? You can open and close its mouth. It also has a magnet so you can shut it. But then you can stick its little tongue out the side of its mouth and stuff. Like, that's just so cute. And you know, Squishables are like, they're like different kind of squishy than Squishmallows, but they're still so like squishy. Oh, he's opening his mouth. But yeah, isn't that cute? I'm so excited because I've been wanting this one for so long. Um, and I finally have it and I love it. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited. Oh, that's so cute. Its name is Venus. I might change its name to something different. I don't know yet, but yeah, it's so cute. But yeah, so um, it was in this giant gift bag, and so I opened it, and it was this. It was, and then this was in the in the, like the wrong, also in the bag, and I kind of started guessing maybe it was this because it would coordinate. But yeah, that's what she did. So um, yeah, just like it goes together. You know, that's so cute. I'm so excited about this. But yeah, that was so, that was just so sweet of her. Like, that was such a great gift. But yeah, I'm so excited to have this one. It also has, like, beanbag stuff in the bottom to help it stand a little bit on its own. So that's really cute. So on the topic of squishables, I also got another squishable. This one, I think this is one she technically got me first because it was, like, before this one came out and I really wanted this one. He was on my list already. But, um, this is the Grim Reaper squishable. Because last year I got the Plague Doctor one and then this one kind of came out or it was already out. I don't remember. But I was like, ooh, I would also like to have this one one day. So he's been on my Christmas list for like a very long time for this year. But it's just, look at him. And I also recently got the Otto Squishmallow, a little one. Got it a few months ago. So it's like, it's going to be so cute to take pictures of it with this because they're so different. But it's so, just look at my little spooky babies. So then you got this and this and then imagine the Plague Doctor. It's like, I got my spooky little babies. And I love them. I love them so much. So that's that. Very cute. Very cute. Oh, I, as you can see, I got a new doll for Christmas. Was not expecting that at all. Honestly, I think I've gotten, this is the second time my sister got me a doll for Christmas. And I don't think I expected it either times. But so, um, yes. Exciting. So on the con on the topic of not expecting this, our doll collections have grown exponentially in the last couple years, partially because we're like adults and we're kind of like, you know, like, we have disposable income. We, these are like, you know, we just, we keep buying them. It's, it's kind of a problem. I mean, we have room and we have the money, so it's fine, but it, you know what I mean? But also, I got my sister a doll um, through the benefit sale as a surprise because I wanted to make her a miniature version of herself. So I got her a doll and then randomly she got me a doll. Um, she got me a number 41 because I've been wanting that one for a while and it was really random but it was sweet so it's like oh okay I got you a doll from the benefit sale so then when we're you know getting ready for Christmas and just cleaning the house I look the, and so and like behind the couch there's a big box 
And it's not the wrapping paper my sister bought for my presents. So I thought, okay, I don't know who it's for, but it's probably something mom got for somebody that's like bigger. It's like a surprise, like she's gonna send somebody after it. So I kind of had that in my head. Um, but yeah, and then we were got done with everything. We were gonna do our stockings soon, but um, my sister's like, ooh, Caitlin, go behind the couch. Um, there's something behind there I needed to get for me. And I was like, okay, so that is for me. And then she, I opened it, and there were two, you know, doll-shaped boxes individually wrapped. And then, I guess, so also my sister got my mom a Kaya from the benefit sale, so it was like, she's like, ooh, mom already got one, so I wonder who's that for, but also there's another one, so I wonder who the other one's for. I had no idea what to expect, because there's two of them, I'm like, what dolls did you get that we both, like, I mean, obviously you got them for you too, but like, who would they be? So, she got me Ivy. Oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> Cause she's getting really hard to find now for like a decent price, but um, cause you know like she's retired and like sought after and stuff. But so what happened was flash forward to 2021, we are coming up on our 10th dolls and we kind of wanted to get them together cause it was also going to be the 10th anniversary of us getting our first dolls, which were Julie and Ivy. I got Julie. You, da -da -da, you get it. So um, we thought about we saw the someone selling them together on Facebook Marketplace for a good deal but they wouldn't ship, so we couldn't do that. So now, flash forward to this year, after she got me Mavis, we were both on track to get our 20th dolls around the same time. Because we kind of have always kind of gotten them around the same time. It's just happened that way. So, um, our 20, our first dolls were Julie and Ivy. Um, our 20th dolls were Ivy and Julie. So she got herself a Julie. She had, like, pieced them together. Ivy didn't even come with her main outfit. Um, like, it was a whole thing. She told me all about it, but it was just so, like, thoughtful, I had no idea, completely just out of nowhere, out of nowhere, um, but then she literally said, this is why I bought you number 41, is because she, like, we were a little bit, like, uneven, and she wanted to make sure we could do this, so she was like, I had to buy you another doll that I knew you wanted, because, yeah, just, mm -hmm. that was so sweet of her, and I love that we're so extra, like, we're able to be so extra, and just, like, especially where we enjoyed these when we were kids, and then now we can, like, really, like, indulge in it at this point in our lives and like we might not always be able to but right now we're really enjoying it so anyway I wanted to cry <laughs> so bad she's so cute she's so cute she comes with her accessories except the like st the dangles for her earrings but she has like the posts which are really hard to find with her with sometimes and she comes with all her accessories except for those so she comes with a little purse and it's just so cute I love it my sister had Ivy, obviously, like I already talked about that, so like I have always loved her accessories. She comes with her little coin. And then she comes with, you know, her little beret. <laughs> Raspberry beret. Like the Prince song. Anyway, um, I'm so excited for this. I haven't done anything with her because I wanted to film this video and I'm still emotionally processing this because I've started kind of thinking about getting her ever since we talked about getting, getting, you know, Julie and Ivy together again. But, um, oh, also... I was not expecting this either, but she got me her New Year's outfit, which again, hard to find. I got her one for her birthday last year, and I had to buy it twice because it got lost in the mail. So, um, but yeah, look at it, it's so cute. She put this in my stocking. She put this in my stocking. Um, she was like, I knew you would not expect it to be in there at all, and I didn't, because it was, it's in a bag, it's rolled up and then wrapped, so it just feels like something soft, like maybe it's socks or something, and it's this. And it comes with the shoes. I couldn't find it with shoes when I got for her, but it comes with the shoes. And it's just so cute and I'm so excited to put it on her. She got Julie's like Christmassy outfit, you know, the burgundy like jumper and stuff. She got Julie that so they can ha both have their outfits and it's just so sweet. And it was so nice of her. And this video is going to be so long because I cannot shut up about this. But it's like, I'm just, she's so good at getting gifts. Like, I am grateful for everything everyone got me. But every year we're just like, Brittany, like she always, she always does so good. My sister always does so good. So, I'm so excited. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know show you guys this stuff i'm really excited um but yeah I'm just, it's so cute i can't wait to put this on her sometime though probably not yet because i'm still just like getting used to her but definitely soon because it's also kind of like a holiday season so that's a good time for this but yes i am in shock still i don't really know what kind of outro to film so i'm holding the grim reaper <laughs> I, w I will hold my squishables so but um yeah thank you for watching i am very grateful for all this stuff i'm always awkward about hauls but i love talking about things that i'm excited about and i just love like showing things and it's like ooh, when i look back i'll remember that christmas and like all the stuff and like 
what kind of like movies and music I was into so it's like I'm just really excited so you know hope you had a good holiday hope you have a good rest of the year hope you have a good new year um if you have like a favorite thing or excited thing like thing you're like, excited about that you got you know comment it um just you know I'd love to hear like your guys Christmas stories and stuff but yeah just thank you for watching and sorry if this video is really long I might have to edit it some I've been trying to get better at like editing like weird awkward bits out that just like you know just make it less long and rambly but I don't know we'll see how it turns out I have a couple other videos I have footage for I've been to edit so there might also be some other stuff even though it's kind of old there might be some other stuff in the next few weeks if I can just do it but yeah Merry Christmas happy holidays thank you for watching